Annie Leibovitz is one of the most respected and admired photographers of our time, and today a new show opens here in Washington called The Photographer's Life. It chronicles her work from Rolling Stone to Vanity Fair and Vogue, photographing almost every celebrity under the sun. But in a rare and exclusive interview, she tells us it's the photos of her personal life that make the show so powerful. Brad Pitt, Demi Moore, Leonardo DiCaprio, in many ways, it's harder to name the celebrities and world leaders Annie Leibovitz hasn't photographed over the last three decades. I went to the San Francisco Art Institute as a, as a painting major, thinking I was going to be an art teacher, and I took a night class in photography. And I, I, I think being young, being 18, 19, 17, 18, 19, you know, like, photography was much more immediate. Um, these are the work walls. That, this show, um, called The Photographer's the Life at Washington's started. Corcoran Gallery, includes more than 200 pictures put together at a time when Leibowitz says she lost her partner and one of her parents. The celebrity or the famous people work sort of took a back seat. It's so interesting to me the intimacy between your family and your friends and, and you'll never have that in your and your day-to-day -day work with, uh, for the magazine. I think what's interesting in the show is you'll see the variety of, um, you know, there's, there's a portrait of my mother, which is probably my best portrait. It has intimacy, it has layers, it has, um, you know, love. <laughs> what, what was happening right in this moment? This is yeah. right before um, she, Hillary's going on stage to accept, um, you know, the, the victory in the, in the Senate, elect, the Senate election, and uh, her husband Bill is is, about, is looking at his speech notes, about ready to, to walk on stage. This is right after 9/11. It's a very interesting moment. Um, the president is obviously feeling pretty cocky. You know, it's a very patriotic moment. I always knew that the president would be standing because I just, you know, I see him stand like this, and he has his hands in his pocket, and he just has that. You know, that Texas look. stand. Yeah, that Texas right? things. We now know what was coming over the next six years and what was going to happen to the various players in the room who would stay, who would go. It's turning into a poignant portrait of a, of a moment. Where was this? Was this right in Jamestown? No, actually, I went to England because I photographed her at Buckingham Palace. Were you surprised uh, at the type of person she was? I remember finishing the shoot and going up to the um, press secretary is saying, I just love her, she's so feisty, you know, because she, you know, she's just, she's, she's a strong, great woman, and uh, I, I love it, I love it, it was great, I had a great shoot. As you look at this whole body of work, what do you think is, is next? Well, I'm trying to figure that out myself. Um, it's, it's funny, I'm more into living my life more and, and taking less pictures in, in the personal life, and I've actually turned turn back more to my assignment work and feel that that's where the work needs to be done. You know, that's where I need to spend more time and try to make that better. Hmm. Are you doling out thousands of dollars a year for your child's education?